Hey guys, welcome to another edition of Dan Does Tech Stuff. So today, I'm going to be showing you how you can add more storage to your PlayStation 5. Uh, this is the Pro model. It'll also work the same for the OG PlayStation 5s and also for the Slim. Okay, so pretty simple. Um, I'm going to be installing a 4 terabyte SSD. This is M.2 2280 drive, uh, 7,000 megabits per second speed. Um, what I like about these uh, ones from Samsung is the heatsink is already built into the the uh, SSD so that way um, you could buy like SSD without the heatsink and then you'd, you'd have to add it on but for PlayStation 5 consoles it definitely needs the heatsink. Um, not sponsored by Samsung or anything like that I just like Samsung products um, hasn't done me wrong so uh, it's nice to have that extra memory um, to be adding to the PlayStation 5 Pro. Okay, so let's take a look at some of the memory I have right now. And you'll see, here's a way to check how much memory you have. So if you go to like the top gear under settings, you can scroll down to where it says storage. And then from storage, you'll see how much storage your console has essentially so it says i have 1.89 terabytes so the playstation 5 pro comes with two terabytes but some of that memory is allocated to like system resources in the os so you don't get the full two terabytes and then of course you've got like save files uh, for the most part you can see of the 1.89 terabytes i have usable i only have 34 gigabytes left so that's why i'm deciding to add the uh, the storage here okay so let's go ahead and show you how to get it all open and uh, then we'll check back in with the console and uh, see if the install took all right see you back in a bit all right so before we start the installation process what you want to do is you want to turn off the PlayStation console all the way off okay so you don't want it on or power connected to your power or you could corrupt your drive so go ahead and power everything off okay once it's off now once it's fully off this is when you want to go ahead and disconnect everything so let's go ahead and do so so I'll take the HDMI out first and then we'll take out for me you, you can either have it attached to like a power plug or something but uh, let's go ahead and pull out the power cord so I can add that all later all right so if we're looking at the console it is a hefty boy <laughs> um, on the top right hand side is where you'll find the hard drive okay this is where you would put in your disk drive if you have a disk drive but the top right quadrant is where you're gonna be installing the drive okay so the easiest way to open that up probably let's see I'll have like this go from the very top again this is where that top console that forward uh, front facing of the console is you're gonna hold somewhere in the middle and then push up and snap and it will come right off okay so pretty simple you can look at some of the rivets there they'll line up when you when you reassemble it but uh, be on the lookout for putting these in the right place okay so if we look at the drive pretty pretty much a simple process so let's zoom in a little bit so you can kind of see it all work so it does just need a small little Phillips drive Phillips screwdriver so something tiny like that I have one where it actually spins some people have motorized I'm still old school so I'm gonna go ahead and Open that up. Righty tidy, lefty loosey. So we're we're gonna go left. Boom. That opens up. And this should be an empty bay here. And that's it. So that's your empty bay. Let's go ahead and take the hard drive out of the container, the the box here. All right. Moment of truth. Let's see. Where's my trusty razor blade at? It's gonna go over here. So right there. I'll go ahead and make that cut. Boom. 
always nice to be able to add more memory to your PlayStation 5. Because games these days, I think Call of Duty by itself was like near 200 gigabytes, which is crazy. And I hear Grand, Grand Theft Auto 6 is supposed to be 250 gigabytes or more, which is like astounding. So here we are. Let's see what the drive looks like. You got some learning stuff here. And then here's the drive itself. Very nice. It's very small and compact. So I don't have big hands, but there it is. All right. So zoom back in a little bit more. Go ahead and put this in. So this should be a pretty easy installation. All right, let's go. Okay. This should be a pretty easy installation. What you'll do first is get your screw, your Phillips screwdriver again. You're going to go ahead and do the same thing. Lefty loosey, righty tighty. So we're going left here. We're going to open that up. I'm going to take your M.2. And it's going to be really easy. You'll look at the where the, where the pins are. You just line, line them up. And then once they line up, you just push in, boom, you feel that solid contact. This here, you'll take and you're going to put that and remove it and secure it down. What am I using my hands for? Here you go. Okay. So this goes on the bottom of that, just like so. That gives it this support, and then you'll put the screw in, and then you go back with the Phillips and screw it all down. And you want to make sure this is down just like so. Boom, looks good. We're gonna put the cover back on. Should be pretty simple. Put the Phillips screw back in. So this is probably one of the easier installations for your PlayStation 5. All right, so let's go ahead and put the cover back on. I'll zoom back out. All right, so we'll zoom back out. And then on the console itself, we're gonna look to make sure these, these covers match. And boom, boom. And then it should snap back into place. Just like so, boom, all good there. And now we're good to go. So let's go ahead and uh, reset the console, put everything back on. Let's put the power back in. We'll put the HDMI cable back in as well. Put everything else away, then Moment of truth, we're gonna power our console back on. Where's my PlayStation controller? Turn on the power. Okay, we'll wait a little bit. I'll power it on. We'll listen for the beep. And there's our beep. And let's see if we can get uh, some visuals. So nothing yet. So it's waiting for the connection to take hold. So nothing yet. Oh, there you go. So it says right here, it says, hey, you've installed an M.2 SSD. You need to format it. So then you want to go ahead and hit format. Boom. It's going to do its magic. Probably only takes a few seconds here. Think about it. You, you have four terabytes of like data storage on that small little thing. It's crazy. So it tells you the speed, which is amazing. Six, eight, six, six, eight, eight. Okay. Okay. And now moment of truth. We're going to go ahead and log in, go back to the gear setting and we will see storage here. Moment of truth. And ta-da, we have four terabytes. Looks like it's 
0.01, but four terabytes there. And then over here on the bottom, it'll tell you you can install PlayStation 5 games where you can just say, I want to install it like on the console storage or onto the M.2. So in this case, let's do everything on the M.2 since we are now all full everywhere else. Okay. And let's go ahead and transfer a file. Show how quickly like you can transfer games. So of my 34 gigabytes, let's find a game here that's taking up quite a bit of space and we'll transfer it over. Show you how fast these speeds are if we're looking at what 6,000 plus 66 88 megabits per second. Okay, so let's see, it looks like it's going into the console anytime like your drives are almost full, it does take a little bit of time for it to like really find itself. So let's do like uh, let's do Motor Fest here. I should play that sometime. So you click into it, you want to go items to move. And then we can go boom let's do that one and maybe one more uh, no we'll just do that one so look at we're going from moving it from this console storage over to the m.2 ssd we just installed we'll hit move hit okay and let's see how quickly it takes to move like a almost a 60 gigabyte file like it's almost done like less than 20 seconds which is crazy all right almost there so fast okay so it'll probably take about 45 seconds give or take now it's got to reload and then we'll check the um, SSD to make sure that the hard drive is on there So if I go back, I'm going to go back and look at my M.2 and there you have it. You've got that one game, which is the motorsport on there. So that's pretty awesome. All right. Well, um, today I just wanted to show you how I install the four terabyte Samsung 990 Pro with heatsink onto my PlayStation 5 Pro. It also, again, similar way on your OG PlayStation 5 and on the PlayStation 5 Slim. So if you found value in this video today, go ahead and hit that like button. It really helps the channel out. Uh, if it's your first time coming to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It helps the channel grow so I can share more tips, tricks, knowledge, how to tech related videos. And um, if you want to support me even further, I do have a link in the description where you can buy me a cup of coffee. So with that said, um, hope you guys are doing well. Um, Happy gaming to you, and I will catch you on the next video. With that said, take care of yourself and each other, and bye for now.